Hey, hey Art, it's great to see you. You are managing your company remotely, and I know that, that you're doing quite a lot at Bloom Energy to help in this global pandemic. It is incredible. I can't even imagine 10 years ago how we would all manage what we would do. That's a silver lining, and I'm always looking for silver lining. The fact that we are still able to work, contribute, and have our families close to us, it's an amazing gift, so that's the way I'm looking at it. Oh, I, I think that's such a great way to look at it. Your company made news a few weeks ago around refurbishing ventilators in California, able to do that much faster than other ways. Tell me how else you are helping in this pandemic. Our core business, as you know, Betty, is uh, we provide on-site power generation yep. that is safe, reliable, resilient, and clean. The one other aspect of our systems is it's the time to power. It's almost like the Lego blocks that you put together and then you turn the power on right where the customers need. So sure enough, when these pop-up hospitals come up, uh, the tents where the surge capacity of patients have to be dealt with, hmm. even before the FEMA crew can come, we had reliable 24-7 power available to them. That's how fast we mobilized and put these systems on. Those patients coming in are having difficulty breathing. The last thing you want is diesel fumes coming out of a diesel generator backup power. Our systems are clean. They don't put any of those fumes out. We are able to do that in addition to the ventilator work. Now, I also can imagine though, trying to mobilize your company at a time when nearly everybody is working remote. How have you been able to do that? Doing the right thing, employee safety. Mm -hmm. We made sure all employees that can work from home, work from home, but then you can't do manufacturing from home. So what we did is created a protocol where we brought in social distancing, brought in all the safety techniques, brought a couple experts in to walk through and modify our lines as needed. Every weekend we have it, a thorough rapid sanitation. We have a nurse on duty that checks the temperature of everybody coming in and out. Because these employees are part of essential services, they will do their job and they are proud and happy to do their job. But it is our duty as leaders of the company to create as safe a work environment as humanly possible. In this crisis, has there been anything that's kind of been new to you that you didn't expect? As long as you have everybody joining in by video and you're able to see them, the level of connectivity, uh, you know, level of attention people pay. It almost feels like you're in the same room doing the same thing after a while. Every crisis, it is tragic, but you also learn and you adapt from that certain things that you're not gonna let go of after the crisis. I mean, I have to say, I kind of feel like I'm sitting in the room with you. Absolutely, it's amazing. KR, great to see you. Thank you so much for your leadership and for being a part of our community. We're so glad to have CEOs and visionaries like you as a part of our NYSC community. So thank you so much. Total pleasure, Betty, uh, always, anytime with you. All right, bye see bye. you later, KR. Bye.